Hey y'all, and welcome to another episode of Total It's a Red. Total It's a Red. It's Total It's a Red. It's Total It's a Red. <laughs> Anyways, I'm Tori. Hello. And y'all are in the car with me today, and Bodemus, who's walking back to the vehicle, um, because I thought I would do a test run. See, there's Bo. Hello. Say hello. Hello. I thought I would do a test run of the new Rihanna Fenty Beauty Foundation. Um, I just got it this week. Um, so I thought I would test it out and see how it wears because today we are running around doing a bunch of stuff with family and running a bunch of errands. So I put on the foundation probably around 10 o'clock and we probably won't be home till about what? When do you say? 10 o'clock. 10 this evening probably so and I'm not gonna touch up my face at all so we're gonna see how it lasts for those 12 ish hours um, so as you can see I have an eyeshadow duh the only thing I really did to my face is I put on um, like setting powder and highlighter and blush and that was it I didn't even bother to contour because I really didn't feel like it so yeah but so I will update y'all later on throughout the day and I'll take some photos to show y'all how it looks and I'll let you know how it is and if it's worth the $34. Okay, so I already did my eyes. Um, y'all are at a weird angle, I'm so sorry, but I'm recording this on my phone since I'm going to be going out all day. <clears throat> that way we can see how well it lasts. So anyways, I got the Fenty Beauty, yay! Um, and this is the... Pro Filter Soft Matte Long Wear Foundation, so it's the liquid foundation. This is the only thing I got. And it says to make sure you shake well. So I'm shaking well. Um, in my shade, hold you a little better. Yeah. The shade that I ended up getting is 280. I think it's called Warm Peach 280. I don't know why my face looks so red this morning, but it does. And it really doesn't in my mirror, but on this it does. So, who knows. But so this is the shade I got. Put you back down so I can put it on my face. And I'll take um, before and after photos too. Like of me in actual natural light. So y'all can see what I'm talking about. And what it actually looks like. So, it is it's a lot more um, liquidy than I thought it would be, which is, I mean, it's fine, but it is very liquidy. So just be prepared. Um, and I can't tell if y'all can tell on camera, because like I said, my skin looks a little bit more red on camera than it does in real life. But this actually is a pretty close, pretty close to what my arms and neck look like when I have it blended I mean it's yellow but I'm yellow so there is that I like that it's really liquidy though because it seems like you can really build up coverage very well in it, which is super nice but yeah so I seem to like it so far we'll see how it goes so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and set the rest of my face and then I'll take before and after photos like in natural light and everything so y'all can see and then at the end of the day I'll record and check back in and let y'all know how it goes and how it wears. So I decided to go ahead and come out on my porch so you probably hear the wind blowing um, just so y'all can see that it is a lot closer to my actual see my actual skin color than it looked in the light uh, now I have a porch that is very shaded by trees so there is definitely a lot of shade in here so I'm sure it'll look even more accurate in direct sunlight but again um, I just went to the store and got this for people to match my shade for me because I'm I'm good at matching foundation on other people, but when it comes to my own skin, I always end up either getting too 
gray toned or too light like I never get like the right shade that's warm enough like it's like all the medium shades normally are too gray <laughs> for my skin they're not yellowy enough which I know is weird but that's just how my skin is so but I think like I said I think this matches ignore my janky nails I gotta get them done today but I think it matches fairly well the rest of my face so or skin you know you know what I'm saying. Okay, so I just got back home. I'm sitting in my room so you can see my photos and shoe collection. Um, I have been gone for 12 to 13 hours now. It's been that I've had this foundation on and haven't touched it up. Um, obviously, I'm a little bit shinier. I'm also sitting in my bedroom, so the light's not the greatest, but it's nighttime, so I can't really go outside for better lights. So, there's that. But, overall, I would have to say that I think the foundation held up fairly well. So obviously, <clears throat> like around my nose here, it kind of came off, and then on my cheeks and stuff, it stayed fairly well. So it stayed fairly well on my cheeks. Also, ignore my frizzy hair. I don't have AC in my car, so I ride around the windows down like a cool kid, so my hair gets all frizzy and crazy. Um, but it stayed on my cheeks fairly well. It came off a little on my chin, but I'm constantly leaning on my hand and came off my nose like I said and I mean it stayed on fairly well on every place else um I mean I went and got one of the things I did today was get my nails done I told you I was so huh there they are um but when I went to go get my nails done I always get like a massage the one of the ladies there always gives me like a, sh a shoulder massage while I sit and get my nails done I'm also not naked I'm in just just dress <laughs> a off the shoulder outfit fyi um but she always rubs my shoulders and like massages my neck and then she always like rubs my forehead which honestly i don't know why but she does i mean it's nice but whatever but i mean she does that at the end so like she still has like kind of lotion and oil which i'm sure if you wear makeup you know that oil can break down the makeup so it came off a little bit but i mean Overall, it stayed on fairly well, um, considering it's been 12 hours and I have not touched my face once, like not even powder, nothing. So I think that is nice. Um, mainly, like, do I think putting this foundation on, does it make it seem like angels are shining upon my face? No, I mean, I don't. I, I don't see... A huge 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 like oh my god my skin is a miracle now difference but I also don't really have a whole lot of issues per se with my skin that I don't like so I'm not necessarily looking for foundation that can really cover that and I do like the fact that it is very liquidy so you can really build up the coverage so you can have it really light coverage or really heavy coverage depending on what you want and I choose to go a little lighter I only put on one layer of foundation on my face which is fine that's all I really needed um so I think if I put on a little bit more it might make my skin look a little bit better a little bit more flawless I guess uh, but what I will say and this is one of the reasons why I think it has been hyped up so much is the shade selection is amazing I've never seen that many shades in my whole life and I know that I am not a person of color but if I was a person of color, oh my gosh, like I would lose my mind because there are shades that you can finally wear. And so I get that that's why it's such a big deal because like I said, even for me, um, not being a person of color, I still have issues finding shades that are my skin tone without me having to combine multiple foundations. I have one right now that I'm using by Neutrogena that's like $14 and then I have one that I found that was like a stick from Sephora a stick foundation that's $21 so I mean 
I'm paying a dollar more for two different foundations and I'm having to use way more product of than the uh, Fenty Beauty, which is only um, $34, at least at my Sephora it was. So to me, it's worth it to not have to have two foundations that I'm using. And it's nice to know that it really does match. And like even when it oxidizes, it matched perfectly and I know that in my earlier part of the video it might not seem that way but I promise you when I stepped outside and I was looking at it in the mirror and stuff it was like I didn't put any foundation down here and it matched perfectly to my chest my shoulders all of those things so that's awesome because that doesn't normally happen so I think that if you have a hard time finding a foundation that fits you or if you're just trying to try like a higher end foundation this is the first foundation that I've ever bought that's over like $22 so for I mean it really is my first high-end name brand foundation that I've ever bought um because I just thought it was worth the try so if it's something that you want to try I highly recommend it it feels great on your skin I didn't feel like it was too heavy or cakey and like I said you can really build up the coverage which is nice and also again if you have a hard time matching your skin and finding shades that match whether you are extremely fair skinned and you look really orange in foundations or you're very dark toned and dark skinned and you look ashy this like the range is amazing and I'm sure they'll have a shade that matches you so I would definitely recommend it for that reason alone so yeah think it uh, gets a, a purchase this item from me at least if that means anything but yeah so <laughs> I hope you guys like this video let me know if you want to see more videos like this where I kind of test products out and film it throughout the day um, and kind of give you updates uh, so that way you can see like me actually wearing it and going about my life and seeing how long it lasts and all that I would be more than happy to do that so just, uh, yeah, let me know. All right, love you guys, and I'll see you next time.